Assalamu alaikum everybody uh, in this video we're going to try to create another web page but this time we are going to add a table we're going to before adding a table we're going to uh, learn how to create a hyperlink and then we're going to create uh, or insert an image into our web page so let's get started okay so these are the main tags for our web page correct every web page should have them okay so now the first thing that we're going to do is create a link and the tag is e a okay a space h r e f equals and then you add the url of the web page or the name of the web page simply by typing the full name of the web page we don't say full name we say url okay so http colon slash slash www dot let's say google dot com okay now i want to show the user a text that tells them that if you click here you'll go to google.com so i can right click here to go to google right and then i'll close a and that's how you write the tag to create a link simply a h r e f equals the url close the speech mark close the a tag and then write a text here that shows the user what's going to happen if they click on this text and then close the a h r e f is short for hyperlink reference hyperlink reference h is for the hyperlink and r e f is for reference okay so let's try this code and see if it works file save back to my folder and open my web page and there it is it has worked this is a link if i click on it it should take me to google.com well done okay the next thing is we want to create or insert an image now i have an image on my folder on the same folder that i have here this is my folder the one that has my web page right and i have this image over here let's open the image now while the image is opening i want to tell you that uh, the name of the image contain two parts okay can consist of two parts this is the image that i want to add into my file into my uh, web page now the image name is 1322161 but the extension of the image is jpg if you had the folder like that and you want to know the format of the image simply you can like stop with the mouse on it and it'll tell you that it's jpg or you can just uh, view the details of the folder and it will show this is the image name and this is the extension and just keep that in mind now let's insert that image into my web page now the tag is img space src equals open quote double quote or speech mark now i'm going to write the name of my image now the name is one three two two one six one dot jpg close now close the image tag and that's how you simply insert the image file save and let's get back to my web page and refresh and that's how you add an image into your web page now what would happen if the image like the website was too slow and the image was unable to be loaded we have something that's called alt equals open speech mark books image here now what is this in case like the, the internet is really slow and maybe the image something is wrong with the image let's say that i didn't write the correct name of the image alt text is going to show it's short for alternative text it's going to show instead of the image in case there is no image or in case your internet is too slow see books image here right Okay, now let's add the one. This is the correct name, and this is the image. Now, I don't want the link to be like at, at first and then the image. I want to add the image first and then the link. So let's check that. Okay, so now I have the image, then the text. If I want the link to be below the image, I can add br 
right right after the image I'll add br save and refresh see now I have the image here and then I have the link here now the image is too big I want to change that okay how can I change that img space src equals the image name space alt tag and then close uh, books image here now in here I can write something what is that the width and the height let's try height h e i g h t equals what am I gonna write the height in pixels now I want to reduce the size of the image this is probably like 800 pixels sorry the height 800 pixels let's look at the image mm, maybe it's not 800 maybe it's like 600 pixels I want to reduce the height to 300 let's try that and refresh see the image size has been reduced now I want to change the width as well so I can have a space here and then right I'm gonna maximize the window here width equals open quote then the width is like um, maybe like 400 let's have it as 200 pixels we can write px over here but obviously it didn't it worked without it px is short for pixels so let's go back and refresh yeah the width I've decreased the width so much to 200 that the image is now like distorted distorted yeah so let's decrease the height as well from 300 let's make it like 150 pixels while wow, save and refresh yeah now it makes a little bit more sense and that's how you insert an image and change the height and width of that image okay and that's how you insert a link now here we're gonna start creating a table okay so let's try maybe using the paint to sketch the table that we want to create okay the table that I want to create is maybe let's add this okay this is the first record of the table okay and inside the record maybe I want to have like um, I want to write name here and then year group okay and then I want to add another record oh it didn't click and, and again I want to add another record and then start writing names in there okay names in here now oh, the paint is not a flexible software right it's not that uh, smooth okay now I want to write names here and here and I want to continue with a third record and carry on with my list of the names or the table of the names just to, to do that the tag is simply table okay this way I've created a new table when I write table I just created a new table this way okay now I want to create a record I want to create a record this way okay now the tag is TR which is short for table record okay now I have this I have a record I've created a table with one record now I want to add data into it okay I want to add data into it okay now to add data the tag is TD what data you want to add let's type name now close the TD okay now here I've written data on here name okay now on the same record I want to write year group or grade okay I'm gonna open another TD TD grade and colon and then close the TD okay this way I have one record with two tape with two data okay now to finish this close the record this way and close the table yeah all right so let's go back to our web page and try to run this code okay I do have a table over here it's just confused with it's mixed with everything over here so let me add like a couple of BRs over here BR BR to get it away from the image and the 
tag. Well, this is my table. Okay? Let's add another record. So where do I do that? Here. Open another TR. Okay, I'm done with this record and all the data in, in them. Now I'm going to add another record here with more data. TD, the first name is Muhammad. Close the TD. The second data here is, well, he's in, let's say, year 10. Slash TD. Now I've opened the record. Now I need to close that record, okay? Now, using this code, I've added another record. Let's save and go back to my page and refresh. See, now I have two records, okay? Let's add another record so that it's more clear. TR, TD, the other guy's name is Ahmed, close TD another TD and he's in year 9 close TD now I need to close the TR and the table is already closed let's see the changes now I have a table with three records and every record has two data in them all right now, if you ask me, it doesn't look much of a table. Why? Because it doesn't have a border, okay? To add a border to your table, simply in the main tag of the table, make a space, write border equals open, set the size of the border, maybe one, maybe two pixels, and that's it. Close the speech mark and refresh here. Now my table has a border, right? Now let's style this table a little bit. How can I style it? By using a CSS code. Again, everything that you want to do to the entire table, it will be inside the main tag of the table. Okay, now I, wa I don't want this style of the border. It's a double line thingy and I, I hate it and everybody who is learning HTML hates it. So let's change the style to the regular one line style border. And the tag is style equals open quote now there's something about this word style here that I'm going to explain to you later style equals double quote now the, the tag to collapse the border is border dash collapse colon collapse okay now close the speech mark and that's it this is the tag that you're going to use to change the style of the border and refresh and there is your table okay it, now it has one line thing okay now let me explain to you when I wanted to add border I didn't write the word style right I just wrote border equals two because this is an HTML code but here this is a CSS code it has a different syntax it has a different sort of grammar Okay, everything that you want to change, you have to add style equals and then open quotes and change the styles. Okay, now I want to use CSS one more time to set the width size of the table. Now in here, inside here, border dash collapse colon collapse, I'm going to write semicolon space and then set the width. Instead of writing style equals blah, 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 one more time, I'm going to write it inside the one style that we have, right? Width equal open. Now, the width is measured in two, in two types. There's the percentage and then there's the pixels. Let's use the pixels first. I want this table to have a 500 pixels width and that's it. Okay, now I have to add a semicolon. Every time I set an option, I have to add a semicolon here, semicolon at the end and here semicolon at the end okay save back and refresh there is a mistake on my web page what is that now the mistake is that in css we don't use equal inside here we use colon colon px and semicolon okay let's try that and and refresh 
Okay, and that's how you change the width of the table. Now the last thing that we're going to do today is how can we center the table? Now the code is a bit long, so let's just pay attention. To center the table in the middle of the uh, of your page, the code is we're going to use code margin, 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 and margin is the space, the white space around your page from the left and the right. So we're going to use two two uh, codes. Okay, the first one is margin dash left colon auto semicolon. Now we here we set the margin left this side on this side to automatic. Now we're going to set the margin right. Margin dash right call o colon auto semicolon. This code should center your table in the middle of the page. File save and refresh. It didn't work. Let's go back to the code and figure out. Okay, so I'm guessing that I made a mistake here. Margin dash left auto, margin dash right auto. Let's try that. And yes, it worked. That's how you center the table in the middle of your web page. Okay, let's go over this one more time. Okay, to set the table border, this is your code. Border equals two between speech marks or double quote. Now, the, the following options, you require that they will be inside the style code, okay? And you open a speech mark here, and then you start writing. Margin dash left auto, semicolon. Margin dash right auto, semicolon, is how you, how you center your table in the middle of your web page. Border dash collapse, colon collapse, is how you change the style of your border and width is how you set the size of your table now this is it for this part of the html or website authoring for the idcse unit uh, till i see you in the next unit thank you very much for watching take good care bye